Today in this lecture we are going to talk about the infinite feedback gain for the arterial pressure or the infinite feedback gain mechanism for the arterial pressure. Basically this is a graphical analysis of the renal body fluid mechanism. In the renal body fluid mechanism we discussed that when the arterial pressure increases the kidneys basically lose fluid and it tries to bring back the arterial pressure to normal. So if the arterial pressure increase the kidneys lose a lot of fluid and it excrete a lot of fluid so that the arterial pressure comes to normal again. This was basically discussed in the renal body fluid mechanism. Now the system used uh, the system used for the arterial pressure to be maintained at normal level or at equilibrium point is the infinite feedback gain. The infinite feedback gain system when uh, shown in a graphical, graphical analysis has two components. One component of the graph is the renal output, the renal output and the other component or the other part of this graph is the intake of the salt and water. Now you can see that on the x-axis of this graph we have shown the arterial pressure which is in mm of mercury and on the y-axis we have shown the urinary volume or it is maybe the intake this may be the uh, volume uh, the intake or the output volume of the fluid. So basically it this x-axis shows that when the arterial pressure starts increasing, when the arterial pressure starts increasing up to the level of 50 mm of mercury, this is something which discussed in previous lecture as well, up to the level of 50 mm of mercury, the urine output, this red color is basically the output curve showing the urinary volume output up till the level of 50 mm of mercury, when the arterial pressure is around 50, the output is zero. It is touching this zero point and there is almost no output. But as soon as the arterial pressure starts increasing, the urinary output also starts increasing. There is a point, this, there is a point at which the output and intake of the water like the output, the renal output and the intake of salt and water, they remain the same and that is a level which is basically known as the equilibrium point. At this equilibrium point which is around the 100 mm of mercury, equilibrium point which is around 100 at the arterial pressure of around 100 millimeter of mercury, the intake of salt and water and the renal output they remain the same or they remain constant. They remain same or they remain constant. But if the arterial pressure starts increasing beyond this 100 mm of mercury, if the arterial pressure starts increasing beyond this limit, the output will start increasing. The output of urinary output will start increasing. Here at this point it is like 1x. But if the arterial pressure has increased to around 150, around this point, the output, this output will have increased around 3 times or 3x. So at the equilibrium point which is around 100 millimeter of mercury, at the arterial pressure of around 100 millimeter of mercury, the intake and output are balanced. But if the arterial pressure starts increasing beyond this point, the urinary output also starts increasing and at around 150 mm of mercury, the urinary output has increased to around 3 times. But we have discussed that this black color line, this curve, this black curve is basically showing the intake. 
So although the volume of the output has increased to this point, this red color has increased to this point due to increase in arterial pressure. The output has gone to around three times, but the intake is not increasing. The intake remains the same. The intake remains the same, but the output keeps on increasing. A lot of fluid is going out of the body so that the purpose of this increased output this three times increase output is to bring back is to bring back this arterial pressure to the normal equilibrium point so when the arterial pressure starts increasing the urinary output also starts increasing but the intake remains the same the intake remains the same and the purpose of increased urinary output three times normal output at this 150 is to bring back is to bring back this arterial pressure to the normal equilibrium point but if the arterial pressure falls if the arterial pressure falls below 100 mm of mercury now you will see that the urinary output this red color graph it keeps on decreasing this way because the arterial pressure is dropping it is going below 100 below the equilibrium point which is a standard point so when the arterial pressure falls below 100 mm of mercury the urinary output also starts decreasing it also starts decreasing and at around 50 mm of mercury it touches the zero point or the renal shutdown occurs or the renal output almost uh, ends or there is no output there is no renal output but the intake at this point it remains normal and at this very point at this very point when the renal output has touched the zero level the intake the intake is more the intake is normal or it is more than the output so when the arterial pressure starts decreasing beyond the equilibrium point the output decreases but the input increases the intake of the salt and water intake of salt and water so this this graph this graph basically shows not only this graph is basically showing the intake versus versus output this y axis the y axis basically the y axis is showing the intake or the output so if the arterial pressure is increasing the output of the urinary uh, the urinary output basically keeps on increasing and the purpose is the increase in the urinary output will bring back the arterial pressure to the equilibrium point a point where the intake and output remains the same or they are uh, the where the arterial pressure is normal but if the arterial pressure falls back the output will decrease there will be no fluid going out of the body but the intake the intake will be more than the output of the uh, renal fluid or the excretion through the uh, kidneys so the purpose of this graph is or this graphical analysis of the renal body fluid mechanism is to demonstrate this infinite feedback gain the infinite feedback gain and here the infinite term basically means that the arterial pressure this arterial pressure it will always and always basically return it will basically return infinite times or it will almost always and always return to this equilibrium point depending upon the output the renal output and the intake of salt and water if the if the arterial pressure increase the renal output will also increase which will bring back the arterial pressure to the normal or it will return to the normal if if the arterial pressure basically decrease the intake of salt and water will increase and that will also try to bring back the arterial pressure to this point so the arterial pressure will almost always return to the equilibrium point which is around 100 mm of mercury for the normal human being and this gain 
this feedback gain will continue indefinite indefinitely or it will return in infinitely that's why it is known as the infinite feedback gain system because if there is even a slight difference of arterial pressure if there is an increase of around 1 mm of mercury or if there is a decrease of around 1 mm of mercury in the arterial pressure this loop will keep on in uh, returning this arterial pressure will keep on returning to this equilibrium point indefinitely and that's why this is basically known as the infinite feedback gain for the arterial pressure now this is something which we have uh, demonstrated in the last lecture and we discussed that if the if an in an animal a mammal in which the nervous system is blocked and the renal systems are intact and some extra fluid is injected into the mammal or for example a dog the the urine output the the arterial pressure of that mammal will basically increase so if an animal is basically injected or infused with extra fluid the cardiac output and the arterial pressure of that mammal or dog in this case will increase beyond normal level but the urine output will also increase is has been demonstrated here when the arterial pressure increase the urine output also increase and that urine output basically uh, throws out or excrete the extra fluid which has been injected here and it brings back the arterial pressure towards the normal within 60 minutes time and it also brings back the cardiac output to the normal uh, level within 60 minutes of time so that that that's something which has been demonstrated here that whenever extra fluid comes to into the body the kidneys or the renal system basically tries to get rid of that fluid and it is always and always trying to bring back the arterial pressure back but similarly when there is a decrease in the arterial pressure the intake of the salt and water basically increase to bring back the arterial pressure back to the equilibrium point and that's known as the infinite feedback gain for the arterial pressure thanks a lot for watching the video